Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Tis the season, holiday season is upon us, and Chanel has released, or is about to release, a bunch of their special holiday editions, either limited to America or to Europe, some to Asia. There's a bunch of stuff to go through, so let's get through it together. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Here on the tubes, you can push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the live chats. Hi to my co-chatters. Push the notification bell as well to get notified when I go live or when I post a new video, let's hit it. So I, uh, a lady uh, has posted some pictures already a month ago before everybody else. She has a smaller YouTube channel for now, but credit where credit is due. So I want to give a shout out to Laura Posse, uh, and I'll post a link to Laura's channel down below. Laura Posse has uh, uh, leaked these images already a month ago. So I'm going to share a couple of them with you. And then there's also some stuff, well, that even Laura didn't know about. So let me cue in some pitches. All right. So we got the Easy Come, Easy Glow, Easy Go, Easy Glow, Easy Come, Easy Glow uh, palette. You get the Bomb Essentiel Transparent Rouge Coco Bomb uh, and Buildable. Uh, you can kind of keep adding more and more and it gets a little bit darker. Uh, you get these two. They're originally packed in their black packages inside of this little trousse toilette, which is basically the same shape as last year, just a different color. They're doing a softer, tweed-esque uh, material in white and, I wanna say sandy beige with a bit of glitz. For $97, you get this one. Um, now, it's kind of giving more or less the same price you would pay if you bought these two. Maybe Chanel charges you a little bit more because they get the pouch. The pouch does not have the protruding little giblets on the side that you can easily turn into a bag if you wanted to, because Chanel doesn't want you to do it. So they stopped <laughs> manufacturing these with the side uh, little added fabric pieces. But if you buy the transparent Bomb Essentiel and the Rouge Coco Bomb 914 shade, you get them sent in this. It's a limited edition, so they're gonna go fast like this. If you like this color, you get those. The next one, and there's two versions of this beauty pouch, okay? The second version, oh, well, we're gonna show it later, fine. Uh, if you prefer these products, they come in the same pouch, you get On The Go Moisture for $82, L'Huile Camellia, the Camellia Oil, which is for your cuticles. Like literally the thing you don't need, <laughs> okay? But I kind of love the idea of putting like oil on my nails and on my cuticles. So kind of this product, I, I kind of want this product, the Camellia oil for the cuticles, but I have a Rouge Coco Balm. I've seen some people on YouTube making videos about this saying how much they love it. I would not trust those people. I'm sorry. Why am I saying this? Because I have this. I've tested it. I've used it. It's the worst product ever. It's like a wax. It dries my lips out. It, it's not moisturizing to me. It is literally the worst money I've ever spent at Chanel is this. It's that bad. So I, for the love of me, I don't know how somebody could say that this product is super great for the lips. David says, it's cakey and dries out your lips. Thank you, David. Thank you. I'm glad that somebody else is saying it, not just me. Because this thing, no. I'm sorry. Just no. This is a terrible product in my humble opinion. And everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. Pau ASMR says, I agree. It dries my lips. Vel, also in the chat, says, I have this. And I hate it, <laughs> she says. <laughs> Hello, Barbara Rank says, and it also leaves a weird white film on the lips. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much. I'm not the only one saying this. So Chanel, fix it. 
Chanel, it took you literally one season to take off these little tiny things on the side. You fixed, fixed. You fix these pouches immediately because you don't want people to hook straps to them. You don't want people to turn these into bags, Chanel. So you fixed the pouches within a couple of months, but you can't fix the formula for this? Shame. Shame. Teresa McGuire says, I have the balm too. It actually caused a rash around my lips. Chanel, fix it. And all of you influencers out there saying, this is an amazing product. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And also, I've been hearing that you should also fix the boy lip balm as well. Because I've been hearing people complaining about the boy lip balm as well. All right, moving on to the next one. Carla says, the Clinique Almost Lipstick is amazing. Bought it because of you and I love it. The Almost Lipstick is gorgeous. We're talking about the uh, Black Honey. A sight to see. This does appear black, but it's not, you guys. This is navy and black with a bit of shimmer. Love this. Love this. Gonna buy this. Just letting you know, this is the one I will buy. Why? Because I have these products. I already have these products and I use... I'm wearing Le Volume uh, masca Mascara, the waterproof, right now. I have it on right now. I use it all the time. It's buildable. When I go out and about, I use just a tiny bit to enhance my eyelashes and it doesn't look like it's makeup. For the live stream, I look like a hookah because I put on a lot of it. Love it. Love the Le Volume Mascara. In fact, Proof is in the pudding. I have it right here. I use it every single day. Love it. And the Stilo U, the Waterproof 88. Super happy that they've added. This is the black color, the Noir. This is the color that I'm missing in my collection, but I have like 15 of these colors. I adore their Stilo U uh, eye pencils. Um, I have a bunch of them. Here's one, for example, that I have in the color 72, which is rosé gold or rosé there this one for example i love both of these products so this for me is a no-brainer i am going to buy this to get the dark blue or navy and black pouch this mascara is amazing i personally adore it mary mer says i was watching in bed on the tv and found my laptop just to go omg so glad you talked about the waxy ashy mess of that lip balm Glad I'm not alone. Yolanda says, you are the first YouTuber who honestly says that balm is crap. Thank you for sharing your honest opinion. I feel the same. It is not hydrating at all. I am so glad that you guys are on my side with this. Like, how can people keep lying to y'alls? Like, it's, it's insane. It's a terrible lip balm. Period. Moving on. This, love the mascara. It's not black, you guys. This is navy blue with black. Just making, just to be very clear, it appears black, but it's a beautiful shade of night, midnight blue with hints of black. Um, Steph says, I still have those bombs from last year's gift sets. Horrible. You see what I mean? Chanel, fix it. If you can fix these to not let us use them as bags, then at least, at least also fix the stuff that we're buying. All right. Okay, let's move to the next one. Absolute Allure Coffret, or a little pouch. You still get that dark blue and black with the gold Chanel lettering pouch. Beauty case. Um, and then you get the Noir Allure, or the, the Noir Allure is basically uh, a more expensive eyelash. What, what's it called? Chaff or the eyelashes. Now, I have that as well. I have the sample of the black one, but I purchased uh, the limited edition red version. And it's it, this is how it looks like. It's just like their lippies. You press and then it opens up. And I have the red. This was a limited edition for spring, summer. It gives me that gorgeous vampire red. Actually, we can put on, you can, it's buildable as well. So I have the black volume mascara, waterproof. This one is not waterproof though. I can actually add it on top a little bit just to get a bit of red tips on top of my eyes. 
eyelashes, the lashes, eyelashes, as Betty Davis would say. So we're going to do a little bit of that red. Maybe you can't really see it with these lights, but it's there. I, I see it very clearly on my mirror here. Now, I personally prefer uh, Le Volume Mascara to this one because the applicator here, the brush here, it's kind of like one of those feels like 3D printed brushes. They separate your eyelashes, but they're not like soft like Le Volume Mascara. Le Volume Mascara is my favorite Chanel mascara, hands down. So just letting you guys know, this is not my favorite. Now for the lippy, it's the classic, I think, pirate or desire color. It's their classic red color. It's not, you know, most of us already have this colorway. So it's kind of weird to buy this set. Now, some people have been saying, well, you can buy it anyway, because this year they give you the lippy comes in its own cardboard, you know, the black box. This is well, so you can gift these and keep this. But I'm like, do I really want to buy a freaking freebie pouch for $92? and gift these away. I want to buy something that, where I can actually use the product. IYKYK. And also when it comes to their lippies, I don't want to buy another lippy. I just, I just invested the 200 bucks in this. Chanel, what are you doing to me? I don't want to get another lipstick. I, I want to use this one first. You know what I mean? David says, red is always good. Can we just agree that red is really a neutral? Yes, David, I, I can agree with you. Red is a neutral. That is fine. Red is always good. But their formula, Rouge Allure, it also dries me out a little bit. Not going to lie. I really prefer much more the formula of their 31 Rouge Cam uh, Rouge Cambon lipsticks. I do have a Rouge, uh, beige, Rouge Beige here, and I adore it. I'm wearing it today, actually. So for this video, so I really, really like this lipstick. So, you know, I would prefer to get a red shade in this one because it's better for my lips. It just feels better on my lips than to get this. Just personal opinion, just personal opinion. All right, let me show you the next uh, box. Okay, here we have the always brilliant, most expensive also, $113. You do get three of these Rouge Coco glosses. A lot of people swear by these. They adore these. You get the color Bourgeoisie, Noche Moscata, and Melted. I personally, again, for me, it's a no-go. I just do not like anything that has to do with lips that has to do with a little stick that comes out that you have to put on your lip and then stuff it back in there. I find that so dirty. Uh, and before you know it, the interior of this thing looks so ratchet because you keep putting external dirt, you're stuffing it back into these glosses. I really don't like the application uh, for these. Although formula, I'm not going to discuss here the formula with you because I don't use these because I don't like the application. So maybe the formula is great. I don't know. I don't care. Not something for me. This is not something... I, I just don't like how these are used. If this were different, like it had, if it had this same system like MAC, like the MAC lipstick, where you do have that balm, but it doesn't come out as a lipstick, it just... you twist, it clicks, and then just a little bit comes out, and then you apply it like a cream. This is better. I find this much cleaner than this. There you go. Plus, this is plumping. IYKYK, like Squirt by MAC. Anyway, uh, this, uh, it's not the same. Jesus says it's the same, LOL. No, it's not the same. Here, I only have the surface affected by my lips. I only have the surface. And if, I'm, if I don't like the color that's left over from my other lipstick on the surface, I can cut it off. And this is clean. All the other product that's in here is not affected. Here, all the product is affected because I stuff inside of this liquid that stick with a brush at the bottom. So the brush that's going to touch my lips actually goes all the way down to here every single time I use the product. So I'm kind of pumping through all of this product, that stick and that 
brush every time I go in and out. Not cool for me personally, but if you love it, more power to you. More power to you. Uh, Ollie says, I love these. D DL says, I love them. There you go. Kev says, that sounds quite satisfying, though. I love when it pulls out. There you go. Uh, innuendos in the fashion bunker. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. So, uh, moving on. To, so, if you love this product, then this is perfect for you because you can also combine them. You can also add the colors. If you love how they apply and you love... By the way, you cannot choose the color of the pouch. You know, you can't tell Chanel, I want these three with the white pouch. No. These three come with the blue pouch. Just letting you guys know. Now, the next products have not leaked yet. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about them now. Nobody has shown the following products yet. We don't have images yet, but I'm going to tell you what they are. Uh, the first one is called Start Fresh. Uh, the set is perfect for skincare, they say, uh, enthusiasts. For $112, you will receive uh, the toner, the facial toner, and the mousse, which I adore. I adore Chanel's cleansing mousse for the face. So you're going to get the toner, you're going to get the mousse, you're going to pay $112 and you will be getting the dark blue pouch. The blue black pouch is going to come with the washing, the facial toner and wash set. That's, I don't use their toner, so we'll go, we'll go, but I do use their mousse. So that's an option for me. Maybe I could start using the toner, you know, test it out, buy this set to get the toner, test out the toner. That's an option for me. That's one that I would consider getting. And the last set with the pouch that also nobody has shown you yet is called, I don't know, I think this was misspelled, something like a Alasia set. Um... It's priced at $111. Details about the bag and specific contents are currently limited. It's a secret for now. So there's going to be another pouch where contents are going to be secret. And I do wonder if they're going to make one pouch with some new product, like a special product only available with the pouch. If that is true, then that one will sell out first like that one is going to go right off the shelves and i will be buying if they're releasing a new product i will be buying to test it out but we don't know and then i have also received uh, a little bit of leaked information from one of my uh, fellow viewers who wishes to remain anonymous uh, i have been sent pictures of perfume sets from several sources by the way actually i want to thank two in particular, two of my uh, subscribers and followers who both shall remain unnamed. One set, okay, here goes. I'm not gonna show you the pictures for a specific reason. I have been sent pictures, but those pictures are internal Chanel pictures. They are their internal pictures that are not meant to be shown publicly. So I will respect Chanel. I'm not going to show those pictures, uh, but I can tell you what I saw. Oh, that's okay. I can tell you what I saw. So do you remember a couple of years ago, it was the first or the second year of the pandemic, we had that Chanel snow landscape for Chanel Number no. 5, Eau de Parfum, Chanel Number no. 5, L'eau, and Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. They created those little square boxes with a magnetic closure, and then they open up, and then inside you had the little snow landscape, and then you had the perfume bottle standing in the snow landscape. Everything was like three-dimensional, like a pop-up book of sorts. Do you guys remember? Debbie says yes. Okay, well, they're bringing those back, but updated. So we will be getting Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Parfum, always the usual suspects. We're going to be getting Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Parfum. And we're going to be getting um, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum and or Intense Eau de Parfum. But with a new product added. So you're going to get two products in each square box. You will be getting 100 ml or 50 ml. I think it's 100 ml. Eau de Parfum spray. Next to it, are you ready for this? <laughs> Next to it is a bath and body oil in 
from what I can see from the pictures, in a glass bottle just like the perfume bottle, and they have a different name. They are called Coco Mademoiselle The Body Oil in a mystery format and the number five body oil 100 mil mystery format. Oh, but I'm seeing here they're saying that the bottle of the Chanel Eau de Parfum number five will be 50 mil. They're not going to give us 100 mil. This time they're going to give us 50 mil Eau de Parfum number five limited edition. And in the box, the set is limited edition. And they will be giving us Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum 50 mil standing next to the 100 mil if you buy Coco Mademoiselle, you will be getting Coco Mademoiselle, the body oil mystery format. If you buy number five, you will be getting the number five body oil, 100 mil mystery format. Ceylon Cleo says, I already have Chanel number no. five and Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, but the body oil would be great. I always buy Chanel body oils. Now, if these, like I see here in the picture, will be coming in a glass bottle with a sprayer, it's going to be terrible. Why? Because I have Chanel body oils in glass containers uh, with a sprayer. They kind of spit at you, and you got product everywhere. They don't create that mist, that foam, that kind of mist of oil. They're spitters. Uh, and so they're not easy to... Applicate. So just be warned if you are buying this and you're using these oils, I would not recommend spraying on your body. I would rather recommend spraying in your palm very close, like create a little puddle in your palm of oil. Spray, 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 spray. Put the bottle down, mix, 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 and then apply to the body. That way you're not going to have oil all over the bathroom floor and you're not going to risk sliding on that oil and breaking a hip or something. Okay? Just be very, very cautious about that. So that is, uh, so that's basically how many do we get? One, two, four, five, six, eight. Eight reveals in this video so far. But there's more coming, I am sure of that, because Chanel doesn't just stop at this. And in fact, one more of my uh, wonderful subscribers slash followers sent me a Les Exclusives set coming out for Christmas. By the way, this last set is by far the stupidest thing Chanel could have done. I find it really dumb. Why am I saying this? You're going to find out in a second. Again, it's, I only have the internal image of the, of the set, so uh, it's not official. I, I'm, I, I'm not going to show it to you. I, I don't want to disrespect them. It's their internal visuals, but I can tell you what it is. So it's not number 18, but it's three bottles of the 75 mil, the 75 mil Eau de Parfum bottles, these little babies. So it's, it's going to be a white cardboard box with a black stand, and you're going to have three of these bottles next to each other. It's going to be Gardenia, Beige, and Sycamore, or Gardenia, Beige, Coromandel. The usual bestsellers, you know what I mean? They're bestsellers, they're three that already exist, not a new one. And you're going to pay $900 for it. Let that sink in. <laughs> Why? Because in America, uh, each one of these is $300 now. You know, they've had just another price increase. So one of these bottles is $300. But at least you get the bottle in its own box. Now, Chanel is going to do three of these bottles in one box. So they're going to save money on packaging. But they're going to charge you the same amount as if you bought them separately. So I'm like, so why should I be buying this set? What is this set giving me more than I'm already getting from somewhere else. Like, I get more if I buy these individually because A, I get to choose which perfume I want to buy. Because the set is preset. Like, you get those three perfumes in the set. You can't, like, say, oh, give me 1957, 1932, and Mizia in the set. No. It's a preset set for 900 bucks, and you get one box. If you buy them separately, you'll still pay 900 bucks, but you're going to get at least three boxes. 
and you get to choose which three perfumes you want if you buy them separately. This makes no sense to me. Chanel, this makes no sense. At least make it cheaper. You know what I mean? Like, make the set of the three bottles, like, $50 cheaper. Make it still. A sin, the price. But at least make the coffret cost $850 instead of $900. You know what I mean? Like, give us something. Give us something. Why should we be buying the three perfume set for $900 plus tax if we don't even get to choose which perfumes we're getting? Give us at least a cheaper price tag. Like, make it more appetizing for us to buy. I don't know. Maybe they're going to fix that. Maybe the, when the set comes out, maybe, fingers crossed, they make it cost less. But usually Chanel never makes their sets cost less. They actually charge you more for the sets usually because they, they charge you for the freebie. You know what I mean? So anyway, let me add a little bit of Chanel number 18, which I adore. One of my favorites at the moment. Ah. So that's the holiday season releases. Are you going to be getting anything? What are you going to be getting? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's start this conversation, darling. And until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Thumb up the video. Bye. Mwah.